Good morning, this is Angela Toma with Dogwood Paper Arts. Welcome to my little studio in Sweet Home, Oregon. So, we are still working on the file folder journal, but it is coming along. <clears throat> we had some problems with it yesterday. Excuse me while I clear my throat. Um, we had some problems with um, a few things yesterday, but I think I've got them all worked out now. And uh, I think, you know, the idea was is that I was trying to create a cool little pocket and still keep things as flat as possible. And, well, we discovered that that did not work, did it? <coughs> Excuse me. Let me have a drink of my coffee. Cheers. Mm. That's what I needed. I've been up since 1 a.m. Okay, so that puts us back over here. This is where we ended up yesterday. I decided to leave these two blank because they're going to be a part of the, the back of the journal or folio, whatever you want to call it. So this is what we had, and this is where I had problems with my element yesterday. Um, so I still haven't come back to it to see what I could do to it, but I have some ideas. <coughs> Excuse me. So today we are where? Oh, are we in here somewhere? Yes, right here. <laughs> here we are. Do you see where we are? Woohoo, we're getting done. Okay, so once again, I think maybe we better, well, we might put a pocket on this one. I know we can't do like a frame or anything, so, but we might do some more little element pockets like these. If you remember, I made some little pockets here. Here's one, and here's a little ticket pocket right here. So maybe... I will put some little pieces in there to remind me what they are. We have one here and one up here. And then we also have these slip-in pockets, these side pockets, on both sides here. So there's that. So we have this to do. And then we're back to this flip-up right here. So when I work on it, I'm probably going to turn it around upside down for me. <laughs> so, because it's hard to reach up there. But we also have down here a little pocket here. Let me cut this tag off. Or this string off this tag. We have our little element right down here, which is just a tuck pocket. So I'm going to put something in it, just so I remember that it, I need to add something there. And then right up here we have a tuck spot. So that is kind of cool, just to tuck something in. Okay, so um, up here we may continue tuck pockets. We'd have to start at the bottom though and work our way up. But it would be a good place to put, like, business cards maybe, or something like that. Not that you're going to need a place for business cards or with this journal, but you might. You might want to keep little um, addresses and stuff in it. I, you know, I don't know. But we're going to, we'll start at the bottom and work our way up. And we'll have several business card pockets. Now business cards are, let's see if I have one. I probably don't. I thought maybe I'd have one of mine in here, but I don't. What are business cards? Three and a half, two and a half by three, something like that. I don't know. Anyway, that's what we're going to try and do over there is add some business cards or yeah, add some tuck pot spots for business cards. Now, because we need to keep it as thin as possible, we're not going to use this piece under here, the file folder. 
piece. But we're going to just use papers. So initially we probably should put down a main paper. Hi Libby, what are you doing? What are you doing? I see you. Come on, over here. Out of my ribbon drawer. Ah, keep backing up. What do you got? Let me see. A piece of paper. I'll put that there. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay, now go on. Go lay down. <laughs> you think she'll lay down? I don't either. <laughs> okay. Let's turn this like this. Sideways. So, yes, it is sideways. And... Let's start with this. Oh no, we want a background first. So let's start with the background. Oh, we haven't used that as a background yet. That's a pretty good background. Okay, why not? Maybe I should check what I already have. <laughs> I don't know. What do I have cut up already? Whoops, I moved it. Did you see that? You know what I have to do? To start my timer. Timer. Here we go. Oh boy, I'm off. I think it's because I don't have a sharpened pencil. So I'm using a, a weak leaded pencil. Oh, and I can't believe you're doing that. Who did you wake up to be today? Oh, me. That's right. I forgot. I like being me. It's fun to be creative. Oh, move that. Okay, put that back in the Tim Holtz box. Yes, I have a Tim Holtz box. I think I showed it to you earlier. I do love Tim Holtz supplies, but I do wish that they were slightly cheaper. Pretty expensive for all those happy crafters. I think I used a half inch cut on those. Apparently I did. <clears throat> I cut this just a little weird and wonky right there. I'm going to just push it down. I'm going to go ahead and rough up the edges with some ink just so that it um, matches in case paper doesn't go all the way to the edge or something like that. Okay, let's glue this one down. Mm -hmm. Oh, gee, <laughs> I kind of like it like that. Maybe we'll do that and just put another tuck spot up here. Guys, I think I like that better. Man, it takes up less space. I sure like it better than, than that paper. Okay, changing my mind. Ah, oh, the mind of a crafter. Crafty little brains, aren't we? Yeah, I like this a lot better. Um, it makes more sense to what the journal has, has been. It's been writing pages, except for these, or haven't been, but yeah. Oh, I like that a lot better. Yes, yes, yes. Well, that is just cut really weird. Oh, well, I'm using it. So there, take that, you paper pad. Stab that pin into my silicone mat up there so I don't lose it. 
you know it's funny how you'll be crafting along and you think okay I'm gonna use that but I'm gonna cover most of it up anyway and and then you're like wait a minute the other side says something else to me and then you put it down on there and you look at it and it's like oh yeah it knew what it was saying it was like oh ho you who you need to switch to me me so I love that about this so you know it's so freeing with the journals that it can just you know I hope you can see that okay over here I'm over to the left come on over well I'm not get in the way of that hinge there at all because if it puffs up we don't want it to puff up oh ooh, ooh, ooh. I know what we're gonna put on here we're gonna put a belly band belly band the belly band is calling me let's do that a nice thing about a belly band here is that we won't lose our ability to tuck things in and stuff because remember this is a tuck in pocket now if it feels too close for you you can actually cut a little slit in here <coughs> or do a little thumb notch but don't do very big one because it won't fit or you'll lose the space okay so let's do a belly band I love that idea how about this it's right here it says I'm available oh it says owie it says maybe I'm not available let's see oh it says it's available on that side I like it Yeah. okay so we're going to put a little belly band right there and it is going to hold something I don't know what maybe a piece of writing paper but we'll need to put a little stuff on it down here and I have an idea for that well, we could just use something like that but that wasn't my idea ink sorry I always tend to ink up close to me <laughs> because I'm trying to keep all the shreds off of the journal in the desk because shreds make a deep mess yes 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 they do hmm I'm gonna cover that little bit up just age it up a little bit just because there see a shred <laughs> now you know why I do that not that I'm ignoring you it's that I'm trying to save my desk I'm going to make it just a little bit wide because I want it to um yeah there my glue looks like it's working right you see I don't know if you can see how thin it is over there but it's kind of like I know I shook it up already but it's kind of like it was just super thin and I don't really want that over here what do you think right up about here we'll put it up a little high because we're going to put a little catch down below now if like me you've made it too small don't worry we can add something on the end there I 
I know it's more towards the top than the bottom, but we're going to fix that. First, I'm going to fix that little sliver over there that I put on. And I think I'll do that with this little piece of ribbon. And I think we'll just bring it down a little ways. It'll just be um, kind of a decorative element there. I don't like it. Might be okay. It needs something on top of it. That's what it needs. Oh, I'm going to put it that way. Why, you ask? Because it feels better on the paper. So I'm going to just put my glue here. And then I'm going to press it down with my finger, just slightly. Um, it helps it not to seep all the way through the fabrics. Now with this ribbon, it's pretty thin, so it'll probably still seep through. And I do think I better put some down here. Don't lay down on it yet. I haven't wished you. That'll just hold it into place. Oh, see, I seeped it through. I'm trying not to, but... Ah, well, so is the world. All is right. Well, definitely that tip has got to get laid down. <laughs> oh, it was being ornery over there. So, we have that. Um, let's do this. Ah, come over here. Dear, where did I put it? There, I, there I put it. I'll flip it over for one fourth. And let's go around the edges. So you know what's wrong with this? Is this extra line here. It doesn't work. That'll work better. One fourth? I don't know if it'll make one fourth now. Oh yeah. There we go. I'm going to just put that right there. Just adds a little extra to it. Let's see. Let's go into fabric. So I'm going to use Fabri-Tac. Put it down this way a little bit. There. Nice. Okay. Now we need something right down here as a catch-all. So hang on. i got to stand up and get into my ticket drawer. Whoops. Sorry. Are you okay? Did I, did I scare you? Hope not. I'm really sorry. I whacked you with my elbow. Hey, where's my ticket? 
I moved them. Oh no. So this one maybe? Oh yes, here we go. Look, I have these. I have some Tim Holtz tickets. So. I think we'll use one of these. This one's just kind of laying there, so let's go with that. And I'm going to leave it with the roughy edges. I guess so. I'm going to tear rough edges on it. We will distress it. And we're just going to glue it at the bottom. I hope this is the bottom. I'm going to give it a little bit because whenever you put things in a tuck spot, you don't want them to bend up your tuck spot. So, so this is going to go right here. I'm going to bring it up just a little bit because we're still trying to avoid this... Um, fold here. <gasps> don't, don't move it. Hold still, Ange. Okay, so we have that element done. Let's look at it the right way. And before I go jamming a bunch of stuff in it, I will show you, um, maybe, I'm looking for a piece of paper that will go through there. Here's a file folder. That will stop it from sliding out or whatever. Probably should have put one up there. Um, but that'll be tucked into here. So if I cut this off, how long is it? If I cut it off right there, can't tear it. It won't work. Me. Let's do it right there. Nope, oh, still too tall. I should have followed directions. Okay. So if we have that there, now let's see if this still works to tuck it in. You do have to bend it up a little bit. And there we go. So that brings us right out to here. What are we going to do? Hi ho, hi ho. Throw that over there. Put that back in its egg cup. I'm noisy today, sorry. Okay. Oh, tape doesn't belong in there. A sip of coffee. Let's see. Now we have this bird over here. And we have eggs down here. Oh. It screams, let's use an Edith Holden page, but we're not going to do that. We're not going to, no. Excuse me, my coffee was making me slurp. There's some more of that green paper. Um... Here's some extras that I have. Let me pull those out. And let's see what else do we have. What's this one? Oh, this is that other pad. Oh, there's a different one. This is a pad that we haven't used yet. Oh, I love this picture. I don't want to put it on the front, but I sure do love it. Oh, nice writing page there. Oh! Can you see those? Aren't they cool? I love that. I'm getting some ideas, although it's not using the same paper we've been using. I mean, it's still a Tim Holtz paper, but... 
Oh, I love that. That would match. That's a nice one. Ooh, that would always match. I love this one too. Okay, it looks like it's repeating now. Oh, that's a nice one. Those are nice. Ooh, there's some tags that we could use in our journal. Probably not going to put a lot of tags in it. Okay, back to here. <laughs> back to seeing what we can use up. I have that. I have that. Ooh, that's pretty. I don't think I have enough to do both pages, do I? Oh, I do. Look at that. But would we want to do it that way? don't know. Let me see what else we have. We have our fronts. Don't want to use those. That's a white piece of paper. We won't use that. That's a kit that I bought from somebody else. That doesn't go there. That goes behind me. Oh, hey, this would go with this if it fits here. Yeah, because this could be here and this could be over here. And that would, that would probably be okay. I mean, this could go sideways. There's no reason why it couldn't. Standard typewriter or this stuff. I think we'll go this way. Okay. Right to here. Okay, cut that one off. And figure out where I made my mark. Okay. Need to round this outer edge. You know, I think, should we round that one too? I think we should. That's a fourth. On these bigger ones, I think we probably need a half. Hopefully, I used a half over here. Gotta put that in there, right? So it clips right. Oh. Because I got a pocket there. <laughs> I couldn't figure out why it was so hard to punch. Yeah, that works fine. Oh yeah, I like that better. Okay, and over here. there once more time. There we go. Time to empty that. It's full. You can see it's full. <laughs> confetti. The confetti is flying. Okay. So sometimes these handles slip off. Just as a note, if Oh, it's not this one. It's a different one. 
Oh, it might be this one. Oh well, never mind. I'm off on a talking tangent. Oh goodness. All right. I think I might have glue on this one. So it sometimes cuts and sometimes doesn't. That probably wore it out. Do they wear out? I think mine wears out. <clears throat> I think so. Well, I appreciate you hanging with me for this whole journal. It's uh, been a long one, hasn't it? Of course, I always make long videos. You know, a lot of series, parts to it. Because I always feel like I need to show you the whole thing. I know I probably don't. I could probably go without that. But then there's some new people that drop in. And it's like, I need to make playlists. With the... Kind of like Gail, you know, she makes all these playlists and oh, look at that. Do you see what I did? I rounded this corner and I didn't need to. That's okay. It can show. All we're going to do is rough it up a little bit. And we probably better do the same over here because since I rounded this one, I'll have to round this one too. Oh boy. Lots of stuff there. Okay, back to here. Now it blends right in. Okay, glue would work. Some of the crafters can sure make nice straight lines, can't they? I don't take the time. I mean, it's glue. <laughs> to me, it's just glue. It's you know, I do want it close to the edge, but I'm not super careful with straight lines. I just decided that I couldn't make them, so don't worry about it. I always drew out of the lines, colored out of the lines. My second grade teacher was not very nice about it. She slapped my fingers with a ruler because I colored outside of the lines and I still remember her. I always wanted to go visit her and tell her that she affected my whole life but what good would that do? Wouldn't do any good to make somebody feel as bad as they made you feel, right? I mean, what would that what would that prove anyway? Oh, I like that one better. Although it doesn't really match, does it? And it won't fit either. Fine. Nope. Okay. So I need something a little bit different, I think. Oh, I, we talked about using this. What do you think? That okay? Or should we find something more like that? Something more like that? I think so too. Okay, not in there. I've pretty much used up all the... I mean, I have lots of scraps, but let's see. Maybe in here I have some more. Here we go. I do have one. This is the one we used on our flip up. I think we're going to go right. We don't really have any blue in here. Do we? we have greens and let's add. 
let's add a little taste of blue or should we just do the numbers let's just do the number okay just doing the number 251 please hello this is the operator please connect to 251 Let's see. Okay, I'm going to cut that little piece off. I don't want that on there. Okay. And watch, it'll be too small. My brother, one of my brothers, has been putting out some really cool pictures, um, random pictures, you know, just things that, I don't know, give you joy maybe, or um, just bring good thoughts to your mind, and, you know, like, um, just random things, numbers, uh, um, gauges, a tractor, I mean it's just, it's just sim simple, the simple things in life, the things that make you think, gosh, you know, I want to do that, I want to just, um, just relax and enjoy his pictures <laughs> you should make a coffee table book <sighs> got some stuff stuck down there there we go all righty here we go anyway it's just fun so after he published his first one, then I was sitting in my car one day waiting for it to warm up. It was one of our frosty days, and I looked over at my other car, our other car, and all the frost looked like feathers. So I went, got out of my car as it was warming up, and went over to the other one and took pictures of all the frosty feathers and different the way the sun was you know glinting on the hood of the car and it was great it was just a great way to get some random pictures and just enjoy the frosty morning and see it in a new light it's just kind of cool that way I probably just broke that book board off there again. You see what the problem is here? Is that this book has a center that doesn't have a... Right here. This piece. Hits dead center right in here. So it creates a little bit of a problem. I mean, it does work because we we did put this fold here. And when you um, where's that go? There. Oh boy, that flattened it up. When it does go this way, then you get this lump here. So what I should have done, I'm not going to fix it. Um, what I should have done was put two of these here not just the one single one I should have put a double two smaller ones and then made sure that it had a a folding for the spine there oh boy that filled up didn't it 
it's amazing you know we're keeping this as flat as we can and I've put in these little elements just to you know make sure that we're we're making room and look at that it just starts puffing up okay so that brings us to the back page and the front page and then we'll put a cover on our spine and a cover on this spine okay don't put away your cutter you're going to need it so let's get out our birds oh this is the inside I'm putting on the inside a place places to write what do we have here no no place to write home about on those let's see not that paper it would be in this one Let me pull this over Now I do have just writing paper that we could use. We also have this. It could be random. Random. You know that should have been my word for the year. Random. Let's randomly do this and that. Okay. Oh, we could just use that again. Hate to use the same thing. We could use that. That's pretty good. We could use that again. No, I don't want to. Um, and the other thing is, is somewhere I have a really cool, oh, I love this paper. See how pretty that is back there? I'm saving it. I don't know why, but I am. Because I love it so much. Um, we do have that. I do have a paper that is specific with lines for writing. Oh, that would have been a good one. I don't think I have that one anymore. Let's see if I have another pad of that. Go clear down to the bottom. Ooh. Yeah, I have quite a few Tim Holtz. I admit it. Oh, that's where that went. Good heavens. Okay. So what was I looking for in this one? Maybe that. Yeah, see, this is a brand new pad. And this is the one we already looked at. And I thought, maybe that would be a good piece to write on. Yeah, I think not. Love that. I love all these. Doesn't matter which one it is. Um, let's open this one. I love this one. This is the one I'm thinking about. bought these at the same place so this production line is the gluey line this came from the gluey line okay so we have this piece here that had the fold in it it is a pain I have to tell you it's a it's a deep pain so we're going to do something about that we are going to 
what are we going to? It still has to have a fold in it. And, well, no, it really doesn't. Because it actually comes up tall enough not to. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just cut a piece of file folder and put on here. And it can be regular file folder. But I think I have some. I have some like that. And I do think that will help. I'm going to cut it just inside of everything. Just like we do everything else. And it looks like the length is just about right. I'm going to cut just a smidge off of there. Okay. So, just working on getting rid of that bendy thing there because we want it to be bendy but not flippity floppity. Okay, so first I'm going to glue that down. I mean, we could just glue our paper right to it, but. I think not. Would be a good place for a night mighty nice hinge right there though, wouldn't it? Okay, let's see if that helps. Ah, yes, much better. There we go. Cool, I like it. I like it better now. Okay. So right here, I wonder where my Tim Holtz fabric is. Let me have a sip of coffee. What time is it? We have 14 minutes. Okay. Uh, let's see. Tim Holtz fabric. Which drawer are you in? There's some. That's that one. That's not Tim Holtz. That's Country Farm. That's Farm. That's a Tim Holtz, but wrong color. Oh. Let's see. I'm looking. I don't know where it all is. <laughs> I know I have it. I just don't know where I have it. Oh, there's a little ruffle. It doesn't even have to be Tim Holtz, really. It just has to be a random, beautifully dark, grungy looking color. Um, 
Well, I think, let's look at this one that I have. I think this is a Tim Holtz. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Longfellow by Wyndham. So we do have that. Let's see. Not that one. And we do have that. I do have this one that is all stamped on. That would make a super great one. Maybe this one's a Tim Holtz. Don't know. I'm going to put that one over there. It doesn't really fit in that drawer, but it's there. I like it. I think I will go ahead and put this in here. Just to kind of secure it just a little more on that spine stuff. I need, what I need is one right there. But, I just, it just really won't work. And, do I really need it right there? I know I need it on the outside. Let's just put it on the outside. If it falls apart, well, we won't do it that way next time. Okay, so this one needs to be the same size as the piece we just applied just so it will fit nicely and won't, you won't have to punch it down underneath of everything. Oh, I gotta save this piece. That's my favorite. I love that one. Right down here is the line for the bottom. Isn't that beautiful? It's so grungy looking. Just, oh, just love it. need that to lay down a little better. I guess it just needed to be double glued. Sorry if I'm going to get out of screen. Oh my goodness, it's so hard to remember. You get so into what you're doing down here on the table that you forget that you've got a camera on you, even though you're talking to it. So, anyway. that side too. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> We're watching. Don't tell on me. <laughs> We're watching it. There was a couple movies on the other day with Kevin Costner in it. And in this one... I can't remember the name, but I'm really sorry, but he went finally 
He and this woman kissed, and it was, oh my gosh, it was so passionate. I have to tell you that I was like, oh, if I could be in the movies, I'd be in that one right there. And my husband, <laughs> oh my gosh, it was so passionate. It was like, oh, does he really like her? <laughs> It's like, how? How do they make them so passionate sometimes? Yeah. Anyway. It's silly stuff we think of. <laughs> silly things we say out loud. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he did laugh. <laughs> That was a random, let me tell you. <laughs> okay. Now, we do need to put something little there. Oh, you know, I could have done washi tape. I had um, washi tape. Okay. We have this beautiful piece. Oh. We need to go over here now. Remember I said maybe we'll put a pocket on the front? So let's do that. We want it to... It looks like I have a mark there already. But maybe right about there we'll put a score line. If we can. If it will let us. May not with this. Right about here. There we go. Whoops. Now we're going to put that like that. Now let's um I think we'll cut that piece off. Our time is almost up. We'll have to finish the front next time. But it will be it will be done on the next video. There's no doubt about that. Okay, so before I can glue this down, I need to put a piece of paper there. So let's put in this one this way. Oh, we could actually divide this between the two because it's going to fit. So let's put these tickets right in here. And then this will go from here down into the pocket. Right about there. Okay. Yeah, I think with the file folders, it's probably important to um, try and remember to do the... I'm going to turn this because I want this number right side up. I don't care if these are sideways. Okay, let's put that in. Ooh, that's a nice grungy piece there too, isn't it? How awesome.
Two minutes, 22 seconds. Let's cut that piece off. So that'll go there. Only need to grunge the sides and the top. Unless you want that to be the top. Yep, I do. So then redo the new top. The reason I do is because otherwise these tickets are on opposite ends. But I like this staining effect. I think that looks cool. So I know my videos are long and I've been really looking over videos and stuff and trying to figure out how to redo mine so that they are um, maybe, I don't know, I'm trying to gather more people <laughs> is what I'm trying to do. Um, but, and I don't know if it's just that my videos are too long and there's such a sensation of um, people now that I'm going to put a thicker, like a quarter inch of glue here, just so that it holds better because there are going to be magnets on this piece. Um, I might actually put a couple of um, eyelets in there. Okay. I'm going to put these on here. Oh, there's our timer. Okay, we'll let that dry and when we come back we'll do this and this flap. Let's put our little dots in here for to remind us that we have to put magnets on. I think we'll do three which means somewhere up here You know, that's not not where they're going to be. That's just to remind me that there needs to be magnets put on. That's how I remind myself of what I'm doing next time. And um, this is where we'll use this fabric. These words here and here. Okay. And we'll put on our birds. Bird here, the other half of the bird over here. Maybe we'll put the nest back there. Okay, I will see you tomorrow. And don't forget, this is my favorite piece of paper. No, <laughs> that's nothing to do with nothing. Okay, well, carry on and have a beautiful Sunday. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Oh, on Monday I do something different. Marguerite Miller. Tuesday I'll see you though. All right. Bye.